Hello everyone, what's up? Friends, in the previous session, we saw how to open Excel, what is the architecture, toolbars and scroll bars. In today's session, we will be covering entering the data into cells, mouse pointer or cursor, sheet and its properties. Why to wait? Let's go to Excel. Friends, it's time to start entering the data. I'm sure you all know how to write, modify and delete any content in a given cell. Still, let's quickly check. In different ways, you can enter the data into cell. Select a cell. Let's say for example, I am selecting C3 and go to the formula bar and start typing. Let's say Excel and click on enter. So you can see the cell 3 right now is showing Excel. Similarly, now let me type in D3. So you can go to D3 and start entering the data without clicking anything. Let's say Excel and then click on enter. It is taking the data. This is how you will enter the data within a cell. Guys, remember when you are typing Excel, and if you are not selecting different cell or you are not clicking enter or you are not clicking tab in that particular case excel basically doesn't commit any of the data for that particular cell you are entering if you don't want to enter any data you can click on escape so the data whatever you are entered will go off but if you are clicking on enter then you need to modify it or clear it. Friends, it is a best practice always after you enter the data within a cell, try using enter to come to the next row or using tab to go to the next column. Never use your mouse to come out from the cell. Now we know how to enter the data. So now let's see how to modify the data. Like for example, I have Excel here. And I want to change it to Microsoft Excel instead of Excel. In that particular case, you can still use the method of formula bar. You can go to the formula bar and start typing Microsoft and then enter. This can be done using another way where you will be selecting the cell. Click on F2 or double click. Go to the beginning of the cell and start typing Microsoft. If you want to clear the data within a cell, you have to make sure that you know two things. Clear and delete are two different things in Excel. If you want to clear this Excel in C3, you have to click on delete button in your laptop. Let's say delete. I will come back. Now you will see there is a button delete here in the highlighted area. If you press this button, basically it deletes that cell and brings the cell content from the next column to the previous column. So make sure clear when you want to clear and delete when you know you want to really delete that cell. Now let's talk about the cursors. We can see there are three type of cursors. One is highlighting. Let's say the square box, whatever you are able to see the cursor is just to highlight a cell. Second one you can see here a plus button which is basically to move data from one cell to another cell and the third one is you can see in the corner there is a dot here. So if you go on that you can see a plus button. This is called fill handle which we will be discussing further in the next sessions. When you take this mouse pointer on a column it will allow you to select the whole column and when you take this mouse pointer to the row it will show the arrow to select the row and in the corner here you can see before starting the column and row there is a small triangle here if you click on that it will select whole sheet when you create a workbook always you will have sheet named as sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 etc to rename the sheet you can right click and click on rename or you can double click on the sheet you can start entering the sheet name let's say my sheet 
and enter. Now, if you want to add new sheet, you have to click on plus button or you can go right click, insert. You can see the worksheet is automatically highlighted. So click on OK. So you will have the new sheet. If you want to color the tab, hide, unhide or delete, you have to right click and use the respective options. Let's say I want to color this tab. Tab colors. Let's say I want to go for blue. You can see this particular sheet has been colored. Right click on that sheet and click on hide. You don't see that particular sheet. Now if you want to unhide, right click on this and click on unhide. It will give a pop-up of unhided sheets. Then you can click on OK by selecting the required sheet. And to delete the sheet, you can right click and delete the sheet. Let's say you have entered the data within the Excel sheet and you see it is precious and you don't want people to edit it. In that particular case, you have to protect that particular sheet. To protect the worksheet, right click on the sheet, protect sheet, type the password 123, enter 123, okay. Now you can double click you will be able to see that the sheet is protected. You try entering the data by selecting the formula bar. It says it is protected. Now to unprotect, you again go and right click, unprotect sheet and put the password and enter. So now you can see that I am able to select the formula bar because it is not protected. Friends, hope this video was very clear and helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon below and keep learning Excel. We will meet in the next lesson.